Hey guys, after uploading and reviewing the video that I just posted about the C-Sharp Auto Updater, I realized there were a few things that I left out that I wanted to show you. The first thing is the update XML that will be on your server. This is what it looks like. It's just a simple XML that holds the app update information. The first node will hold the app ID as an attribute, and that will be the test app. You'll reference that in your code as well. It will hold the latest version number, so what version is your update. The latest version URL, that's where on your server the file is stored for you to download. The file name, that's when you download the file, what do you want it to be called on the computer. The MD5 hash sum of the file so you can verify the file actually downloaded correctly. And then the description where you can put in a little change log or something like that, just what new features are in the update. Also after I watched the video again, I realized that the update interface looked a little plain. So I decided to add a little bit to it. So I'm going to run this one more time just to show you how it looks. Start the Windows Form application, just the test app. The test app looks the same, just prints the version number and has a check for updates button. So we press check for updates. We got a nice little new icon here. It looks a little bit nicer. The details do too. Got an icon. And when you update, it updates and it will delete this application and then put the new one there and then launch it again. And we can see that happen right now. There we go. And then if you hit check for updates again, there is no update because the newest one is 2.0 on the server. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you in the next tutorial.